instead. You don't have to be despised and rejected. You can be praised and accepted. And Jesus must have experienced incredible turmoil in his soul. What was it that caused him to be able to get over that? Mark says that he turned and looked at his disciples. In fact, that word turned is a, ter- is a word that elsewhere in the New Testament is used for conversion. It means he turned not only his face to them, but his heart as well. And supposed with that temptation, he looks with love upon those who would follow him and says, I will die for them. Christian, do you understand that this is why Jesus Christ went to the cross? He died for you. He was whipped for you. He was mocked for you. He was rejected for you. He did it all for you. And ought we not having been given so much be ashamed to keep any of the fruits of that righteousness that victory over death that forgiveness for our sins to ourselves if we would be a church that follows Jesus in the way of the cross we must never say our church It is Jesus' church, and through him, he would reach the least and the lost, the lonely and the rejected. I've said that Jesus wasn't a very good salesman, but maybe I'm wrong. Because we've said here all about the cost that Jesus commands of us, that we would lose our lives, that we would lose our dignity, that we would lose our standing before other people. But see here what it is, finally, that Jesus promises. Whoever loses his life for my sake will gain it. As that old hymn says, time like an ever-rolling stream bears all our sons away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. We walk through life and from time to time we may feel a glimpse of the loss of things that living for this world can give us. But Jesus Christ has here promised us eternal life. Not just eternal life in terms of its longevity, but eternal life in terms of its sweetness and goodness and its beauty. As Lewis says in the final chapter of the Narnia Chronicles, that every day there was better than the day before it. And every moment gave joys they hadn't dreamed of the moment before. The life that Jesus offers is not an electric blanket to keep us warm. It's a cross. But if we'll follow him on the way to the cross, then we may meet him at the empty tomb. Oh, for the strength to walk in that way, let us pray. Oh, Lord, once lifted, 
on that glorious tree as thou hast promised draw the world to thee lift high the cross the love of Christ proclaim that all the world including us here today would adore your sacred name Amen.